this is something that's legitimately maybe not a great idea. Somebody ate this soup one time. Yes. And they got a parasite. Yes. Oh man, guys, I really hope I make it out of this one alive. I've eaten a lot of crazy food in my travels. A still beating cobra heart, rat meat in the Mekong Delta, and one time I even ate some fruit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you look like a mother bird feeding her young. But today I'm putting my life on the line to take food reviewing to a whole new level with raw pig's blood soup and buffalo sh I'll just let her say it. Buffalo shit just so. Yeah, thank you. It's hard to say why this dish was created and is still prevalent today, but in Northern Thailand, it's been around for hundreds of years. Is there any risk involved in eating the raw pig's blood soup? Yes, eating a raw soup is your own risk. And the people from the north part of Thailand, after they eating a raw food, they lost their hearing. Yeah, and a few weeks ago, the north part of Thailand, further the province called Nan they found out that they found some parasite inside their leg. So someone was eating the soup every day? No, just one time it could happen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Pork must be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit in order to kill any parasites, especially Trichinella spiralis, a parasite that can lead to intense muscular pain, heart damage, kidney malfunction, or even death. Why are people eating this if it's dangerous? Because in the old day, it's the belief that if they're eating raw food, they make them strong. But whatever doesn't kill me can only make me stronger. At least, I hope that's the case. Oh, uh, what is going on? <laughs> To eat raw pig's blood soup, we must first obtain pig's blood. So we woke up bright and early to head to this countryside market. We have arrived at a tiny market on the edge of Chiang Mai, and today is all about the raw pig blood soup. But we can't have any soup without any blood. So we're gonna search for some blood, but along the way, see what other unique things we can find in this market, as well as maybe some yummy snacks. We are making our way through the market. Oh, here we have some big, beautiful bags of Rice noodles, oh, you just want to spank it. It looks so nice, get a little spank. Very nice. Oh, it looks like we have some yummy snacks right down here. These here are rice dumplings. Swati Kap. Right here, he's got his little steaming device. He's got some beautiful rice batter. He dices it up like a pizza, puts in a little filling, wraps it up, and that is it. That looks delicious. If you're gonna eat uh, pig blood soup, it's good to have something in your stomach beforehand that isn't blood, that isn't raw blood. He's gonna put additional Toppings on the side. You are not. Coconut cream? Is that coconut cream? Oh, wow. That quickly went from dessert to something else. Let's give it a try. Whoa, there's a lot happening there. It is sweet coconut sauce with peanut inside that is savory, and then roasted garlic. I don't know where this factor's in. <laughs> I don't know if I'm eating it right, but he smiled at me, so. Down here, we have our meat section. And look, as with most markets, meat people are just more fun. I don't know what it is. I think vegetables bring out the boringness in people. But right here, we have a stinky treasure. We have some fermented fish. We've all been in situations where we can't speak uh, the language, but we want to smell something. Can I smell this? Yes. Sign language. Let's get a nice big whiff. Wow, that, that one's more intense. That one is bold. Oh, the flies. Immediately the flies are like, yes, get me in there. It is potent, but it actually, it doesn't, it doesn't smell bad. And that's not gonna be eaten alone. That's just gonna be paired with some other soups, with other ingredients to just add to the flavor. Bring some nice fermented punch to another dish. And we're headed to the meat section. And here's the poultry. And something fun you might notice here if you look down at these chickens is, um, first of all, oh wow. These chickens have put themselves in a headlock. I didn't even realize that at first. Also, they look really yellow, and that's not natural. That's because they've spread turmeric onto the skin, it's supposed to make them look more fresh and bite some of the gamey flavor. Right now, she's filleting up a chicken, like no big deal. Chopping it right up, bones, meat, and all. Oh yeah, chicken feet too, everything. So that's definitely gonna go in some kind of soup, some kind of stew. Open cup. Eh, my tie sucks. I'm working on it. All right, we are in search of the pig blood. Oh no, is, is the blood gone? <laughs> is the blood gone? Sold out? Oh no. Well, I guess that's gonna be the end of our episode today. Um, come back next time and maybe we'll be able to find blood. Thanks for watching. We thought she had blood, but she doesn't, she doesn't have blood actually. So you're wondering why there's still six minutes of runtime left? Don't worry about it.
That's some nice greens. Okay, no, just kidding. Uh, they found some blood. There's some blood here. Does she have some blood, really? Oh, she's gonna lift it up. Look at this. Ah, uh, whoa. Wow, that is a tremendous amount of blood. It is like a giant scab. Some partially coagulated bits on top. This pig is probably from this morning. If you're eating this soup, you, you have to have fresh pig blood. We're buying the blood right now. It is 10 by like 30 cents for a kilogram of blood. That's cheaper than milk. It feels a little unsettling to see the blood like this and to know I'm gonna be eating this blood. I'm very curious to see what they're gonna do to it to dress it up, how they're gonna add some flavors, and most of all, curious about how it's safe. But let's go find out. With blood in hand, we head deeper into the country to a quaint restaurant where the owner's mother has been making her famous raw buffalo larb for over 20 years. We have arrived at our destination, the yes. place they're making the raw pig's blood soup. I was told there's gonna be some extra surprises today. All I know about is the blood soup, which is enough of a surprise for me. But what else is in store for today? A uh, spleen soup. Spleen soup, okay, and, uh, that sounds good. And uh, buffalo cheat juice soup. A buffalo shit just soup. Is that surprise enough for you? <laughs> Is it juice inside the intestine? You oh, make the soup out of that. Man. Can we ask the owner really quick? Can we have her come over here? So right here we have a whole collage, tons of pictures of guests who have been in this restaurant, and I can only assume that all these people ate the pig's blood soup and didn't die. Big achievement. Even if it's fresh, there could still be some parasites. Has she tried it? Actually, she not eat it, but she can eat it with you today. Oh, she'll eat it with yeah, me today? Sure. Together? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, thank you. Boom. Let's do this. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. I may be eating raw blood, but I won't be doing it alone. To prepare the soup, they first clean it and remove any gamey flavors by squeezing it with a bundle of lemongrass. They then add deep fried pork skin, fried garlic, shallots, offals, and pickled garlic juice. I am here with the owner of this fine establishment. Thank you so much for inviting us. I expressed that I was a little nervous, and she said she's nervous too, which didn't make me feel any better. As with most kind of out there, unusual foods. There's always alcohol involved. All right, take it away. Oh, that's that looks real nice. You can put even more whiskey if you want. I've been told that the sheriff of this area has eaten here three times, having the blood soup, and is still he's still alive. Yes. And he's still he's still alive. So, no problem. The worst that happens, I get sick, I lose like 20 pounds, and I look hot. You know what I'm saying? The new Irwin Yusuf. <laughs> Shon. <laughs> Oops, I drank it all. Ooh, it is chunky. It is full of magnificent chunks, and I like that. I like a soup with texture. You want chunks, man. Campbell's with chunks. <laughs> okay, and then this is it? We just eat it? Yes. And then chew it? Yes. And then what happens? Swallow it. Okay, she knows exactly how this is done. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mm. 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 We got some herbs. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, it's actually good. This is really blowing my mind. It's a little spicy, it's perfect spice. As you eat this, you don't want to be super focused on the fact that, oh, I just put a bunch of raw blood in my mouth. Uh, it's better to be focused on the flavor. And there's spice, there's a ton of herbs, lemongrass coming through, and then tons of crunchy bits in there too. So the taste is actually good. Should we try some more? Mm. <laughs> okay. mm. <laughs> Aroy? Aroy. <laughs> All right, we both think it's yummy. Aroy. This is the most dangerous food I've ever eaten, but it tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste bloody at all. There's no ironiness. <laughs> Show me. And ladies, you don't need to really worry about messing up your red lipstick when you eat this. Oh, yeah. Vampire of the pigs. Uh -huh. This is not what we're ending with. Why do people eat this special buffalo 
thing. Because people like to eat it, it's bitter from Dubai. Will the buffalo juice soup actually taste like shit? Oh no, I like. I, I like. Okay, I like. we've made it through the blood round and it tasted great, uh, but I won't know the full repercussions until 12 to 24 hours from now. What we have for dessert today is the buffalo shit juice soup. Mm mm mm. This one is the buffalo crap juice soup. Buffalo juice soup. Yeah, thank you. I don't understand how this works. Where, is that in a piece of intestine? Intestine and then a, a juice in the intestine. So they've, they've like sealed off the intestine. Yes. They boiled they it. They boiled. And then they, they cut make, it open yeah. and then it brings all the juices. Yes. Oh. And then they mix with the boy. Uh, Enough. These sealed off sections of buffalo intestine have been boiled for some time, heating up the partially digested juices from when the buffalo was eating grass. After boiling, the intestines are slit open, allowing the juices to pour out. I never thought I would do this on my show, but my rule on my show is always if other people are eating it, I'm gonna eat it too. With, within reason. With the poop stock complete, they add some more spices, dry chili, MSG, cilantro, buffalo innards, and buffalo bile. I'm trying to be open-minded, but this is like so far from anything I've ever had. I, and I can't even figure it out. Sometimes I see people eat certain foods and I understand like, oh, maybe a long time ago, they didn't have a lot of food. They ate bugs or something. And, and this one, I just, it's confounding. I can't figure out why, but maybe it's gonna taste great. All right, let's try it out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Chon. Chon. I got some more rum, everybody. Cause we're about to eat soup. I thought the blood was my biggest concern today. And uh, I mean, excitement. I thought that was my greatest excitement. And now I'm even more excited for this poop. I'm gonna give it a sniff test. Yeah. My man. Is it not smelly? It doesn't smell at all. That's good. So it's got a ton of lemongrass and a ton of digested poop grass that the buffalo ate. Here, we're not going in full force. We're not getting a, a big spoonful. Oh. Do I need more bile? How much? This is a little. She's told me to put in, wait, pour it all? This is a little. Oh. That was a lot of bile. Why are people eating bile? They did, they like the bitter flavor? Yeah, they like the bitter flavor. It feels like a northern thing, a, yes. a cool weather thing. Yeah. Don't do that. Why can't it's I? Okay. No, no left hand? No left hand, guys, because the left hand is, is that's for pooping. And we, we would never go near poop, would we? Okay, let's eat this poop soup. Dip, dip. <laughs> oh, you put like a busload of bile in there. This tastes like pure bile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta chase it with alcohol. I don't know about that. Oh, I don't. Listen, I think that might have tasted good before all the bile. You put a lot of bile in there. It is acidy. Here's the taste of bile. Have you ever gotten so sick from alcohol that you threw up and threw up until you couldn't throw up anything anymore and all you're throwing up is stomach acid? And that is what that tastes like. No offense. No offense at all. Can I have one more without any bile? Hold on, I'll be right back. I believe that this has to have some good flavors in here. They're, they're expert chefs here. I'm gonna get one more. I'm not gonna put any extra bile in it. So I'm gonna try one more. A new day, it's a new day. We're gonna dip it in there. Yeah, it's real bitter. Oh, it wasn't the bile. It wasn't the bile. I don't think this one's for me. I like the blood one. The blood one is great. Yeah, give me some more of that booze. I think this one's not for me. <laughs> um, I think it's beautiful what you've done here. Uh, very creative. Uh, the poop, making use of all that. Very cool. But I gotta say, guys, I think the poop soup, that's, uh, it's not on my list of must tries. Does she like that one? Yeah, she like it. Wow, oh, that's cool. They're yeah. very different tastes from me. This is one of the most out there videos I have ever made. We are out here, son. An amazing, interesting experience for me. I hope you guys learned something. I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, All right, amazing host. And I feel so touched that we were able to come into your home, to your restaurant. Very cool, almost surreal experience for me today. So thank you. 
This video was made possible by One Trip Tours. They are a tour company in Vietnam, putting on tours all over the place, Saigon, Da Nang, Hoi An, and many more places coming soon. If you want to experience the real Vietnam, go with One Trip. Food tours, the Mekong Delta tour, village tours. My personal favorite is the food tour. They drive you around, you get the real back of the bike experience, which is so quintessential to Vietnam. You learn all about the city and get to eat a ton of delicious food. It is the best way to experience the real Vietnam. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next week. Subscribe if you, if you guys, I eat poop soup. Come on, give, give us up, huh? One of these, not one of these. We'll see you next week. A Peace. Try.